Hi everyone, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 4 of our project development in ASP.NET In this video, I will explain you about the database tables. In the past video, we discussed about ER diagrams and the introduction about the project, what we are developing. Just in this video, I will show you the database tables that are required for our project. Is it clear? And we'll explain uh, how to create the tables and everything we'll discuss in the next video. So I already explained in the part uh, second video that how to convert the ER diagram into physical database tables. So I already divided into tables, you just understand. So first table is state table, state ID is primary key. City table, there is a relation between state and city. Is it clear? One state can have many cities, one to many relation. And in state table, state ID is primary key. City table, city ID is primary key. The primary key of parent table will become foreign key in child table. Just you must have the knowledge on primary key and foreign keys. Just to establish the relation between the tables, you have to apply primary key and foreign key relationships. In state table, here you have state ID is primary key. City table, city ID is primary key. In uh, city table, state ID is foreign key. Primary key is used to create foreign key actually. Without primary key, you cannot apply foreign key. In the next video, anyway, I will explain you how to apply primary key and foreign key. In the location table, location ID is primary key, city ID is foreign key. In the restaurant table, restaurant ID is primary key, location ID is foreign key. In dining table, dining ID is primary key. In restaurant dining table, restaurant ID is foreign key, dining ID is foreign key, combinedly composite primary key. And here you can see all the tables are created. One is state table, other one is city table, another one is location table. And uh, in future, we'll have some requirements based on these tables. Like uh, in future, we have a project related screen, something like this. Here I have something like select state. That is, if I have some project uh, requirements, will be there in future. Is it clear? Uh, based on uh, here, you can see. If I try to select what state here, I'll try to take select state and it will try to write select city and it will try to select location. Is it clear? And it will try to have one such something like this such and here display the restaurants. Is it clear? So whenever user selects what here uh, state, so actually you must have the knowledge on the uh, SQL database queries, joins, sub queries, and all the other things. Anyway, I'll explain you in the project. Is it clear? When we do the project, I will tell you how to create the tables, how to design the database tables, primary keys, foreign keys, all these things. Let us assume this is our drop down list control. Is it clear? I want to design the, uh, I want to bind all the uh, state names and display in the front end. This is my drop down list control, something like this. Similarly, whenever I select the state name, display the city names belongs to that particular state in drop down list two. In order to design the screens, we need to fetch the data from the database tables. Definitely you must have the knowledge on SQL. So these are all the tables belongs to your project. Totally how many tables are there? State, city, location, restaurant, dining. Restaurant, dining, shift type, designation, employee. Employee shift, groups, items, menu, stock, uh, ingredient master, ingredients, users, feedback, order master, order. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 tables are there. Means very big project. We will develop uh, these database tables uh, uh, and uh, we will write, uh, we will practice some 100 queries related to this particular tables are you following everyone and based on this we'll try to write some join queries sub queries and all the other things is it so when interviewer will ask you what are your roles and responsibilities in the project means generally designing the database tables and everything is not your job it is uh, your high level uh, architect's job but as a developer you must know how to write the queries understand the relationship between the tables primary key foreign key relationships one to many many to one relation whatever i explained in here diagram that relation you must have that clarity is it clear main focus must be on project 
domain knowledge is very very important so that you can confidently explain to the interviewer is it clear because mostly interviewer will ask questions on what domain only can you explain about your project what are your roles and responsibilities you can tell sir i'm working in a small company my company is a product based company nearly 10 to 15 employees are working in the company my roles and responsibilities are used to involve in database tables creations sure. writing the stored procedures applying the foreign case and in front end also i'm involving working with adv.net working with uh, the mvc some razor syntax like that you are working with three tier architecture all these things you must have the command so try to all of you try to observe these tables and relationship state city location observe the tables columns and all the other things so that in the next video i will tell you how to create the tables how to write the queries minimum 100 queries will write join sub queries everything We'll try to minimum 100 queries. We'll try to write on database related project so that you will also become strong in the. You'll get command on database tables. Are you following? Thank you. For more videos, try to subscribe to my channel, share, like, and click on bell icon. Catch you in the next video.